Hey, it's Yuri Experience and today we have our first video about color wheel. Yuri Experience. In the previous video where I talked about gray, white and black clothes, I mentioned that today we will start with colors. Obviously, if we are talking about colors, we will start from the color wheel. Before we start, I need to mention that a lot of stuff that I learned about colors in style I learned from Real Man Real Style from Antonio Centeno. I will put a link below in the description. There he goes way deeper in the whole information. I just do the overall opinion of mine and from my other experiences. But he really connects colors with style and goes into depth and where it comes from and stuff like that quite interesting in my personal opinion. All the graphs I also took from him, but he took them also from the other side. I think it was art through something. I will write it down somewhere and I will also have a link below. I looked through that side, arts through something, and it's actually kind of interesting if you are into creating arts, creating some new, something new stuff, and they're talking about different materials, colors for that purpose. Now let's start with the color wheel. What is color wheel? Color wheel is a representation of all the colors that human eye can see and differentiate. It is only one of the color systems, it's kind of old and quite robust. There are also different ones, like one that printer use or the one that color theory uses, but all of them have something to do with this color wheel in some way. Depending on what field of life we are talking about, if you add all the colors together, you will get different results. For example, if we are talking about light, about physics, then if you add all the colors from the color wheel, you will get white. Basically, that's the reason why we see rainbow when it rains. It happens because sunlight reflects from water droplets and during that reflection all the colors split up and you can see all of the colors of the spectrum that human eye can see at least. And if you can split the colors, you can also connect them back, which means, which means if you had white in the beginning, then you will also have white as the outcome. It's a simplified way to explain it. If you want, I can do a, another video about light refraction and stuff like that. On the other hand, where there are systems where you combine colors and you will get black. For example, arts or painting, if you get different kinds of paint and you mix them together, you will get black on the end. You will not get white. Another example are printers with cyan, magenta and yellow as their main colors. And if you mix them all together, that's how you get black. That is also a reason why in a lot of printers they are like each color and black independently. Because if you want to print a lot of text, black and white, then you need to connect all these colors together each time and it's like way too much paint, way too much waste. Let's go back to the color wheel. As I told you, it is not perfect. It doesn't represent all the colors that we have in our world but it is more than enough for basic understanding of colors and how they work with each other. By the way, if you want me to go more in depth with some of the other color systems like printer color system or, or RGB color system or color theory color system, like the main coolest thing ever, then write in the comment below and I will do it in some other video. On the color wheel we have 12 colors and we have different categories how we can group them up. Today we are talking only about one of them, about another one we will talk in the next video. This category is something like you can create one color from another or not or something like that. First group of colors are primary colors and these are blue, red and yellow. These colors are primary colors because you cannot create them from other colors. That's all. That's the main reason they are primary colors. If you take each of primary color and take the opposite of it, you will get secondary colors. These are violet, green and orange. These colors are something like a mix of one primary color with another primary color. All the other colors are tertiary colors. You can define them as equal mix of as one secondary and one corresponding primary color or as an equal mix of a primary and another primary color. Although I was talking about mixing colors in order to get another colors, each of these colors is a distinctive color which has its own place in a color palette in your wardrobe. Fun fact, you don't see brown over there, am I right? That happens because brown is something like an orange that our brain just decides to make brown. So brown doesn't exist. Some kind of orange exists and our brain is like, oh, that looks like brown to me and it becomes brown. That is all for today, today's kind of introduction video. If you want to learn how to combine the colors in order to create better looks or better color combinations maybe for something else not for your clothes then definitely check out my next video to this topic which will come probably in one week that is all for today and i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>